He's gonna self train. Now I understand that feeling that everyone talks about the first flight. Yeah. All right, everybody, we're gonna do some practice for paramotoring. We're gonna unload the beast. All right, that's a mini plane top 80 right here. There's some gas. We're probably not gonna mess around with it. And that's his wing. All right, so long story short with my friend, right here, we're gonna practice some exercise with the motor on his back, motor off. Work on his posture, work on like kiting with the motor on your back and all this fun stuff. He's gonna self-train for paramotoring, but he's doing his P2 right now. So he has some experience in the air. He's been kiting for a very long time, for more than a year now, where he was strictly just kiting and kiting and kiting. So he's really comfortable with kiting. And like I said, he's almost about to get his P2 at this point. And he just purchased the motor and we're gonna take our time and I'm gonna run through some drills about everything to get him up in the air no rush when but we will once everything looks good so let's go for it So just, yeah, unclip everything, lay it out properly, make sure it's out of your way. So now we're just doing the clipping procedure, but like if you were to go flight, obviously you would do a pre-flight, right? You'll go over it, but I'll go over the pre-flight in a second. So find your way to clip in. So there's a couple of ways. Yeah, you can do one shoulder since it's super light, or you can do, I'll, I'll show you a couple other ways. Okay, so now that works. This is how you taught me at the beach last time. Yeah, no, that works. Well, make sure your straps are all out. See, this one is all out. So before you go for your strap, you know, grab your throttle. So do you like straps? You don't want to have it too tight. You don't want to have it like too loose. Too loose, it's going to be a hard time to run and too tight. You're going to have a hard time sitting once you take off. So do the same thing. All you want to do now is kite with the motor on. That's all you want to do. All right, check the surge. Okay, drop it. All right, so at this point, we're just practicing couple forward launches with the motor on his back, and it's all a matter of losing the focus between the motor on your back and the actual kiting itself. So remember, kiting is the same. Make sure you're center. Make sure there's no line in your feet. A little bit to your left, to your left. Okay, now you're center. Don't step on the line. And now you're gonna come straight towards me. Whenever you're ready. Run, run, arms up, arms up, arms up. Arms up, arms up, arms up. Yeah, okay, check the shirts. Run, 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 run. This way, this way, this way, this way. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Drop it down. All right, so right now we're practicing forward launch. So here's the deal. He's been practicing kiting for such a long time, but because of the condition, it always has been reverse kiting. So he's probably done 99% of reverse kiting his entire year and say close to no forward launch. And now he's having a problem with forward launch, like holding the A's long enough for the wing to be up. Uh, so that's the main thing. And he's having his arm out. So the idea is to have, hold your A's until you feel like the wing is actually up. Hands up, yep. So again, go ahead, a little bit, nice and slow. Okay, try again, stand straight and let it go full power. One more time, try to slowly go full power. That was not full still? Well, you'll feel it when it's full. No, I don't want to go, though. not today. That's You're fine. It. Just let it go slowly. It's not, it's not that bad. Like, you just have to get used to it. Slowly undo both shoulders at the same time. 
keep your arms bent, let it slide slowly, and then slowly, like a little, little and then I'll keep going lower. Bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees. Now I touch the floor, now let, let your arms go. Let your arms go. Make sure it's stable, it's not falling, and that's fine. And that's up. All right, on this part, you can see we're still practicing some forward launch, trying to get him up in the air. It was completely nil wind at Salton Sea this day. All right, we're about to go. One more try. So the main mistake he kept doing is not pushing on the A risers and go, keeping the speed. He used to pull on his forward launch to the first few steps. As the wing comes up, he will just slow down because the wing was pulling back. And so then we keep trying this one again. Uh, he's having a good run. And the problem right now, he's pulling on the risers. That's why he has a front collapse. So he's holding onto the A risers. That was the mistake on this specific section. Now we go at it again. He's running, 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 then the wing keeps falling back. So I tell him to abort and let it go down. Hop. I don't want him to get him too tired. This one I think is a good one. He's running, running, running. The wing is up. I tell him to go ahead and add power. And it's a little too late because he loses the momentum. The wing falls back. This one is the good one. He almost took off. Uh, so he's running, the wing is above his head. I tell him to go power. Now I'm telling him to go and stand straight, lean back, full power, and he's just gonna jump. Boom, and hit the ground. Um, luckily, nothing broke. Different view right now. You might see him jumping, he's bending his leg. He's running, 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 full power and the jump hits the floor while me telling him to kill the engine good here? yeah yeah i'm good you okay yeah okay. all right let me tell you what happened you let go too early you can't sit down you didn't keep running you sat down it was scary yeah you, i uh you had it i jumped don't you have to keep running remember i told you you keep running yeah you just have to keep running. Did I mess up anything? Nope. Oh man. You were you were about to take off. You know. Yeah. You cannot see. I told you you have to keep running. Okay. And increase power. No, your power is full. And now officially our day three. We're at the beach, Sea Cliff, California, doing couple forward launch. It's completely nil wind, like completely nil. Um, and the same problem, you know. Uh, a little lack of correction on the wing and then he goes for this one same mistake he's gonna jump up and hit the ground so, so we saw that pattern when he keeps jumping and i keep telling him to run and to keep running even though he takes off until he's high enough to go ahead and try to get in the seat so he keeps trying with a couple forward launch it wasn't working obviously running on the sand is way harder and he still made the same mistake as you can see he's gonna jump off right now he's gonna jump and luckily there was enough clearance for him to fly but as you can see right now he's holding the risers he's holding the a risers i keep telling him on the phone to let it go and then he finally does
Thank you so much, bro. A simple text. Oh. I have to hug you. I can't, I can't, I still can't, I believe, still can't it. believe it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I understand that feeling that everyone talks about the first fight. Yeah. Thank God. All right. All right, guys. We made it. First flight after many, many tries. I mean, no, not many, many tries. We technically really tried. Technically, well, three times where you actually, you know, went a little up and down. But this one was the right one. Fourth, worked like a charm. Not the trial where we dropped the wing. The trial where you you almost like, well, that was good. At some point, I lost you on the phone. I was like, damn it. I hope he's going to. I gonna... kept hearing you, but stupid thing. Uh, I didn't know I, I should let go of the power. You made it. That's all that matters. And that was it for this video. As you can see, there's a lot more implying the self-training that I did with him. Obviously, not everything is in the video. So keep that in mind. Whatever you saw in this video, there's a lot more behind the scene that I did not record just because I wasn't really planning on making a video for that. So we're gonna have a part two, part three, part four because I'm gonna keep training him. I'm gonna keep assisting him during his flights because I want him to gain enough confidence to go by himself because for now there's still a lot to work on. There's still a lot to work on his forward launch with nil wind. So that's a few things we need to work on. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions about the entire process. I'll be more than happy to help you guys because I know not a lot of people are willing to help people that wanna self-train. And again, I'm here. I'm trying to give you my best advice and if I sense that like, you shouldn't self-train then I will tell you that you shouldn't self-train and if I sense that like, you have something that could be possible then I will be more than happy again to be part of the process so um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the content I will be posting every week as usual if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to like the video give it a thumbs up share with your friend and leave a comment this is the one thing that I want to know I want to have your feedbacks about the entire thing about the quality of the video about the process about things that might have have forgotten but again happy holiday and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to stay bad